Okay, listen up, this isn't just another random update video. All of my packs just got hit with the biggest upgrade I've ever done, and there's brand new effects to the core pack, and there's another new pack. And to make it even crazier, there's 10% off everything right now if you use the code NEW10 in the next 7 days. And well, if you haven't tried them yet, I'm about to show you exactly what you've been missing. So the biggest update is to the core pack where I've added two new effects which is the emboss and the paper curl. And then I have also made updates to some of the other plugins. So I've made updates to the new anim and I've made updates to the new reflection which I'm about to show you now. So let's just jump right into DaVinci Resolve. So as I said the first thing I updated was the paper curl and now I'll just show you what you can do with the paper curl. So the first thing you can do is to make this kind of wavy windy look on the paper curl and also make this really cool uh, animating on a uh, dollar bill if you want that and you can also do this with articles and uh, papers and stuff like that so that's really cool now i'll just show you how you can do this a uh, really cool paper curl quickly so what we'll do is just grab the paper curl and add it like this and then just keyframe the curl amount and do like one and just go a bit forward and just drag this one down to zero and then we have the translation where you can zoom it in zoom it out move it to the right or the left and you can also rotate it like this uh, which is really cool and you can add motion blur as well if you want that so this was pretty much the paper curl now i will show you the next effect which is the emboss and this one is really cool because you can see we get this really nice bevel and emboss look where we can rotate the angle of it if we want that we can change the blur size and we change the spread which is just if i zoom in a bit you can see if i move this up just go further into the text we use the blur it just blurs out what we already have if that makes sense so yeah this is you do it on text this is really good with the new glow as well which you can get in the free starter pack if you just want a sample what you can also do is if it just renders i'll just go into the fusion page and grab this emboss here and you can see we get this nice depth on the motion graphic i just made here so i'll just drag up the blur size a bit then we get this really nice uh, kind of look and what you also can do with the emboss if you have some icons or stuff like that you can also add some depth into those so if i just remove it you can see it's uh, really flat but if you add some emboss into it it will be a lot more 3d looking so that was pretty much the emboss now i'll just show you the new update to the new item so i'll just grab a new one here as you can see we got this uh, really big page here but it's actually quite simple to use up here you can just choose where you want it to be the size just like a regular transform and here you can choose the animation settings so how long you want the animation to be what curve if you want it on the in part only the out part or on both and if you want to do a size animation you can just enable the size here and we get a really cool size animation and it renders really quickly if you want a position animation a slide on you can also do that which is really nice and if you want a slide up and fade in like this you can just enable the blend animation so this is really cool as well and then we can add some motion blur if we want that and that's pretty much how you use the new new anim. In the past update I made an update on the new reflection I haven't showed it on YouTube yet but it's really cool so if we just jump into the fusion page we can grab the new reflection and then we get this really cool reflection and it's also important for me to note you can use these plug in both the fusion page and the edit page which is also really awesome so if you just want to do something quick you can just grab uh, one of the effects on the edit page if you want to do advanced motion graphics you can do it in the fusion page so if you want to do a little bit of fall off on this we can just drag up the fall off distance add some softness into it and then we get this really nice fall off and if we want to we can make it a little bit more blurry we can also make it only more blurry on the x-axis or the y if we want that if we just remove the lock blur and the reflection only is just only to see the reflection the fall off only is just if we want to do the fall off so if we have made a lot of adjustments like this so we add some distortion into it as well which is also one of the new updates and um, we can just do fall off only and then we won't see any of these which makes it a lot easier to adjust the fall off and also just turn down the opacity if we think it's a bit too harsh next update we have is the new pack which is the new highlighter pro and if you had the core pack before you know we had the highlighter in it as well but this one is more advanced and easier to render for your pc and i also decided to move this to a separate pack because not all of these people who edited documentaries and science-based content want all the other effects we have in the core pack so i just made this really affordable and the best part is if you already got the core pack i have sent you it on the email the new highlighter pack because you bought the core pack when the 
the highlighter was in it so that's why i also give the new highlighter pro to you for free so let me just go into davinci and then i'll show you how it works really quickly so let's say you got this really cool looking article that you want to use in your content and you want to do a really cool highlighter what you can do is just go on to the generators and then you we have the generators here where we have the new highlighter and then you'll just drag it the layer above the text here or sorry the article and then you can just move it up to where we have the text as you can see here then i can just for example hide like this where it says the eight best davinci resolve ai editing tools and then we can if we go here we can do fusion overlay and then we can adjust it really easily like this quite awesome actually then we can change the highlighter color if we want that and uh, how visible we want it to be and we can add a text color if we want that so if we want to change the color with text behind here we can do that so now the text is blue and one effect i really like to do with the highlighter is make this inverted kind of look so i just make this black for example and then i make this white like this and as you can see right now it's a bit gray but that's because the text here isn't completely black so how we can combat this you may ask we can just drag up the low a little bit like this and then it will be completely bright so that was, uh, that's how we can change the text color and make this really cool inverted look then you can do animation controls so you can choose the speed of the animation the curve of the animation and if you want any delay or motion blur and the new option in the new highlighter pro is you can enable the texture if you want that so we get this really cool uh, kind of texture right now i think it's a bit too harsh in my opinion so then we just drag down the contrast a bit um, and this is based on a displacement node and a fast noise so if you know how that works it's exactly how that works so i'll just remove this fusion overlay and then you can see we get this more realistic kind of looking highlighter then we can add a drop shadow as well so we get a little bit of shadow behind the highlighter and if you want to add a new highlighter to the text down here for, for example you just hold alt or option on mac and then just drag this one up and move it over a bit and make it fit the length and just drag it down so just go here drag it down to here and reduce the height move it over a bit and make it a bit wider so now we get this really cool looking highlighter so now let's just go ahead and take a look at it and as you can see this looks uh, quite cool actually and that's pretty much it for the new highlighter so as I said earlier, I've made new tutorials for literally every effect in all of these packs. And all of these tutorials you can find on my website or you can find them on the new edit YouTube channel, which is linked down below as well. Another thing I've been thinking about recently is I want new edit to be more than just plugins. I want it to be a whole community of DaVinci Resolve editors. So my question to you is if you want a school community or if you want a Discord community or whatever. And of course, I'll make the community free so everyone can be in there. And that's a full update. Shout out to everyone who already bought the pack you're literally the reason why i continue building new packs like this if you haven't grabbed one of the packs yet now is the perfect timing because that's 10 percent off everything if you use the code new 10 in the next seven days the link's right below thanks for watching and have a great day out there